What's up, guys? So we're always talking about our good eaters and our bad eaters. But what happens when a ball python doesn't miss any meals? How quickly do they actually grow? What's up, YouTube Faker? Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs. Listen, I'm gonna try to skip out the whole subscribe thing for now. We'll see how it goes, just because I don't wanna, I say it too much, right? 200 videos deep, I don't need to say it anymore. But if you're the channel, man, post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. No real update, guys. It's pretty late on Wednesday. It's about 10 o'clock at night on Wednesday. Did a lot of overtime this week. I am exhausted. First and foremost, you watch my channel all the time. Sorry about Tuesday's video, right? It was a good concept. I shit the bed on it. I was exhausted trying to do the video. My thought process wasn't good. I'm probably going to remake that video eventually because I know a lot of people struggle with that. Um, and I guess that kind of shows the balancing act of breeding ball pythons and having a full-time job. Trash video, shitty video. I apologize, guys. Other than that, no real updates. Probably swinging by Joe's house or Empire State Exotics tomorrow to pick up a new male. So check him out. I'm going to show him and the new female off of one video probably later this week or next week. Haven't decided yet. Still got more equipment to pick up. A lot of stuff, are, a lot of things are heating up over here when it comes to my, you know, the incubator's still empty, but when it comes to my breeding projects, uh, my breeding plans this year, a lot of stuff's starting to heat up over here. So I'm going to do a whole video about that and the updates and some of these girls, which ones I think are going to go soon, so forth and so on. So today's video, um, it's going to be kind of like a two-part thing, okay guys? We're going to talk about, or I want to talk about really good eaters against really, really bad eaters. And first, I'm going to show off some of my really good eaters. That everywhere, anywhere from six months to eight months up to about a year old, how much they weigh, um, especially the ones that haven't really missed any meals. I'll show you a couple that are the same age that are really picky, finicky eaters. You can see the size difference. I have my scale ready to go, so we actually weigh them out and you can see them. A lot of snakes in this video. I've been slacking on that. And then there's be another part to this video, be it part two. I'm going to talk about how a good eater versus a bad eater can drastically affect your breeding season and kind of push back some of your projects two or three years or a year to two years, okay? We're talking, I have some examples directly in my tubs of snakes that are the same age. Some are about to drop some eggs and some that aren't close. Uh, but that kind of is dictated by good and bad eaters. So let's get right into this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show off my Batman girl, uh, the Batman boy. It's not only a Batman possible head pied. Another clown boy, then my special pie girl that I got from... Porter Pythons, Red Light Pythons, and Joe from Empire State Exotics. Then we're going to show off, we're going to weigh them, we're going to talk about how they don't, I'll, I'll tell you how their feeding habits are. Then we're going to talk about Harlem and my Killer ent killer Entry Blade Clown. We're going to talk about those two who are about a year old, give or take, and how big they are, and they haven't really missed meals. Then we'll talk about two or three snakes that shitty eaters, same age, and we'll talk about how much they weigh. Okay? Alright. So if you want to breed bull pythons, like you got to get the females up to size, right? It's really that simple. Let's start... Let's start with, all right, so all these snakes in here, the Batman girl, the, what the hell is it, the Pastel Enchi Blade Leopard Clown, the Pastel Butter Leopard Clown, Red Stripe Clown, Possible Hep Pie Boy, those three snakes are all born just about in the middle of September. So you're looking about five and a half to six months old, okay? Um, we'll talk about that in a second. And then the other one, the Special Pie, is about two months older than them. We'll compare her to my Aussie Pied Boy, they're about the same age in their size, okay? So let's get right into this. Let's start with, let's start with the Batgirl. I haven't weighed them a little bit, so I'm actually curious myself. Ever since I picked this girl up in, I think the first week of November, she's about five months old when I picked her up. She's about 130 grams when I got her. She has not missed a meal, guys. Now, when it comes to, to eating, now I know when I say, oh, they haven't missed a meal, how big are they gonna grow? I have to explain how I feed them. So when I first get hatchlings that I want to grow up for breeding projects, look how, how cool are Batmans. All right, leopard spot nose clown. Gorgeous animal. Sweet as can be, cool as shit. Anyway, when I have an animal from a hatchling up to about 1,000 grams, I feed them every Sundays and Wednesdays. A slightly small, so she's about this thick. I feed her a slightly smaller uh, rat twice a week. That's how I feed it. Once they get to that 1,000 gram wall, they kind of shut down on me. Then I go to once a week, which is where Harlow, my clown girl, is. And this killer and she uh, clown girl is. So all these four things I'm about to show have eaten twice a week, pretty much in the entirety. A couple of them have missed meals, and we'll see that in a second. But she has not missed a meal. The only meal she has missed, which she's deep in shed, she can't see it, but she has eaten in shed for me quite a few times. So if you want to count two or three times she's missed when she's in shed, then we can count that. So let's weigh her, okay? She's sitting about six months old, 
I only got my hands on her and she was about six weeks old. So I missed probably about a three week window there where she wasn't on my feeding regimen. Let's weigh her in, okay? So at six months old, never really missing a meal. This girl right here, right now. Now she has a rat in here from Sunday. Today is Wednesday, so it's three or four days. No, Saturday I fed them, I'm sorry. So four days ago, she ate, she just shed, and I don't see a poop in there. Okay, she is weighing in at 701 grams. That, that, that is fucking crazy, guys, okay? This this back girl right here is just about six months old, has not missed a meal from me, and she's probably one of my best eaters I ever had. Her in Harlem. Oh, you little skin, honey. Her in Harlem, the clown you meet a little bit. She's weighing in at 700 grams. There you go. There you guys have it. A female, her growth rate, never missing a meal, fed twice a week, Sundays and Saturdays, of a meal appropriate size, slightly smaller, I do feed her twice, 700 grams. That's, damn, she's a big girl. Now let's go to the two boys, okay? Now, where the hell are they? Here they are. These two, ah, what's up buddy? Looks like he's hungry himself. This is her brother, okay? So if you're questioning whether or not sex uh, is a factor, this is her brother. He is, we know 100% a pastel butter uh, leopard clown. We're like 99% sure he's also a red stripe, possible have pie, okay? Now he has missed a couple meals, one or two. Nothing crazy. He's not quite like his sister there that's an absolute savage, but he's right there with her, okay? Let's weigh him out. Again, same age, same clutch. Oh, you bastard scale. By the way, shout out to Jose, my man, grab your wolf. 594 grams. So he's about 108 grams less than his sister. Is that because he's a male and she's a female? And the potential of growth is obviously better with the female. I'm not entirely sure. But... Um, he did miss a few meals. So could those three, four, five meals that he probably missed have that 100 grams on there? I think it has to do a lot with that, obviously. And the fact that he's a male opposed to a female. So here you have it. There's a male from the same exact clutch. Really, really good, good eater. Has missed a few meals um, between shed and just being a dick. He's just under 600 grams. Solid, solid male, okay? All right. Now let's slide over to the other male right here. who's got himself buried in his water bowl. This is my pastel Enchi Blade Leopard Clown from my buddy Redline Pythons. Um, looking gorgeous. Another beast. Now, he was born, I know for a fact, it's September 22nd. I got him relatively quickly, I believe. I believe I got him in the middle of October. And he's been on that feeding regimen. He has missed one or two meals. Nothing crazy. But for the most part, very consistent eater. So now let's compare that male to this male. Roughly the same age. Roughly the same feeding pattern. He's not as sweet as the other one. As you see, he's trying to bite me. This boy right here, slightly bigger, 626 grams. Solid. So those two males that have missed about the same amount of feedings are roughly within 30 grams of each other. Not bad, guys. Not bad for a six-month-old male who's been eating like a beast. So what did I say he weighs? 620-something grams? 626 grams, okay, guys? And yes, his last meal was on Saturday. Today is Wednesday. Um, solid, okay? So, so far we got the bat girl, who's never missed a meal, weighing in about seven, just over 700 grams, right? The two males, the one male is about his sister, her sister, her brother, is about 580 grams, 590 grams. He's about 626 grams. So, could that disparity between the males and the females be due to sex? Because, obviously, the female can grow much larger than the male in general. Maybe. I think it more has to do with the fact that, but also the fact that she hasn't missed a meal ever. She's an absolute beast. There you have it. There's three six-month-old bull pythons that haven't really missed meals, and you can see how much they weigh, okay? Really good, really solid animals. Now, let me compare it to this boy right here who's in his water bowl. I don't know why he's doing this lately. Come here, bud. What do you say? All oh, those mites. Ain't no mites in this collection, homeboy. Might be going to the shed. I don't know. Let's weigh him, though. Now, this is my Aussie pie boy. He is about, I think he was born in June. So he's about eight months old. I think about eight months old. He's the orange dream, yellow belly, pastel, fire leopard, clown boy from Aussie Boy. At first, he was a beast eater, savage eater. He was eating ASFs for me twice a week. He was really powerful. He was really eating. I was like, this guy's going to be a beast. Then he slowed down on me, became a really shitty eater over the last three months. Let's weigh him in. So this animal here is about three to four months, about three months older than the other ones you just saw. He's weighing in at 515 grams. So he is the smaller male. He's about 100 and... Uh, he's about 70 grams less 
than the smaller male, male, about 100 grams less than the bigger male, and he's three months old, three months older. But he was not a good eater. With that being said, he's producing sperm plugs, the other ones aren't. But there's the difference there, guys. Roughly the same age, uh, roughly, no, I'm sorry. He's three months older, is not a good eater. They are three months younger, good eaters, and they are much bigger than him. Right? About 100 grams, which isn't a lot, but when you only weigh 500 grams, you know, it's 20%. It's, it's a big, big difference, especially three months younger, okay? Now, let's compare him to my special pie girl, who I got from Porter Pythons. They are about the same exact age. I mean, give or take by a few weeks, but roughly the same age. Now, I, I got her on a delay from Porter, even though he was feeding her. Not the same way I feed her, but still accordingly, and, you know, obviously fantastic because it's Porter. Um, because we are waiting for that pastel and she blade leopard clown to come from Mike. Want to do one package from my, my buddies in California. But this girl here is roughly the same age as that male. Let's weigh her in. Now, she hasn't really missed meals. But again, she wasn't with me for the first, like, month and a half of her life. This, this, this thing keeps turning off in the most unopportune times, guys. 765 grams. So, in all honesty, she's about three months old, uh, two months older than this Batgirl, and she's only about 60 grams more. But let's just, I think the Batgirl's just a freak, not entirely sure, but let's just check her out. Could that difference be that she wasn't getting fo fed twice a week like I was feeding? Probably, for those first six to seven weeks, but let's compare them all together now. You got the special pied girl. That's roughly the same age as the Ozzy Pie boy I just showed you. And there's about a 240 gram difference between the two. And that's because he's a shit eater and she's a fantastic eater. Now, I think if I had her, like in other words, when this, when my, my bat, bat girl, my Batman girl is her age, I think that bat girl might be close to a thousand grams. And that's a really good eater. But they, they you have it kind of a comparison between six to eight month old ball pythons and how much they weigh on being really good eaters opposed to kind of shitty eaters. Um, let's take it to the next level here. Okay. Let's check out, let's check out this girl. This, where the hell is she? This girl right here. Oh, I found the dead rat that stinks guys. It's right there. There's two in here. That's what that tells me. Oh, that's bad. I thought she ate it for sure. All right. This is my killer and she blade clown female. She is... Shit, when I get her? I got her in about May. I think she's born. She's about 11 months old. She has been a very, very, very good eater, guys. Uh, she's missed meals here and there, shed, stuff like that. She decided to kill that rat and not eat it. Actually, my vanilla, one of the vanilla girl down there didn't eat it. I thought it was her when I found it. Turns out I missed another one. It really didn't stink that bad in here, though. Maybe I'm just numb to it. Anyway, so this girl is about three months older than that special pied girl and, and the Aussie boy, okay? About three months older. Now, she has, she's been a really, really good eater for me. Only missed a few meals here and there, but really consistent. I can pretty much guarantee a rat going down. We're looking at 1,160 grams. So this girl right here is about 11 months old. Really, really good eater. And is sitting about 1,160 grams. Could not be happy with that. Obviously, she's not going to breed, breed this season. Next season, she's another eight or nine months before she gets in the rotation. I expect her to be well near 2,000, if not over 2,000 grams as a good eater. Oh, that's terrible. Jesus. All right. So let's go into this girl right here. This is another clown girl. Damn it. Stand by. This is another clown girl. Uh, this is Harlem. Just my normal clown. Really good looking animal. She's been an absolute beast when it comes to eating. I got her about two months after that girl. So I believe... Oh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I believe this girl was born last may so she's about nine months old i think she's about this girl right here this harlem girl is about a month and a half older than the ozzy pie boy and the special pie now we know the ozzy pie boy is 515 grams we know the special pie girl is about 600 760 grams however i didn't have her for the first seven six seven weeks so i definitely think that's the difference but let's check out harlem she hasn't eaten for me in about two weeks now she's using shed i think she's hitting that thousand gram wall but this animal right here is about, I would say, nine months old. About nine months old. Has been with me. Was an absolute... I got her. When I got her, guys, I believe the beginning of last June. If you're watching this video and it's not current, it is March 10th right now. So I got her about nine months ago. She was 54 grams. Okay, she was tiny. But she's been a savage ever since. Up until recently. So on my feeding, she is... 
1,003 grams. So check, let, let's go over all this now, all this information here, I'm trying to talk about good eaters. So we have the Batgirl, who is rough, probably my best eater I've ever had. She is about 700 grams, and she's only about six months old, hasn't missed a meal ever. ever. Her actual brother, and then her other clown brother, are the same age, missed a few meals here and there, and about 150 grams less. Still not bad. Now, you take it a step further, you check out the Aussie Pied Boy, same age as the special Pied Girl, but he's 200 grams lighter, he's a shitty eater. Kind of is what it is. Now, we talked about how the special Pied Girl was with me since she was a hatchling hatchling. I got her about 140 grams, I think she was. She was with her for a little bit, she wasn't on my feeding uh, schedule. Um, so she's probably a little undersized if I didn't if I had it for the whole time. Then you take it a step further, you look at these two clown girls, the one being about a year old, 11 months old, hasn't really missed a meal. She's about, let's say, 1160 grams. This girl was 54 grams when I had her. She's been eating for me like a champ since June, so six, about nine months I've had her, nine, nine and a half months I've had her, and she's a thousand grams. So nine and a half months of really, really good eating, and you're talking about an animal that's about a thousand grams, to 1100 grams, give or take, depending on the animal, size of the rat, and stuff like that. I'm really interested to see where this Batman girl is, if she continues to eat this way at the one year mark. I think she's going to be an absolute beast. So, hope that kind of helps uh, put in perspective what really, really good eaters look like, how big they are, what they weigh. I got to get rid of this now. I'm going to bring a Ziploc bag in here, put that ass in there, throw in the garbage bag out. This makes a lot of sense. <sighs> Nasty animals. Anyway. So, I hope that kind of puts things in perspective. Good eaters at six months old, good eaters at nine months old, good eaters at a year old, where you kind of expect to be feeding twice a week. Sundays and Wednesdays, that's what I do. That's where I'm at right now. Conversely, then you can even look, take it a step further. You want to see an animal that I've had. I've had this girl since last May, and now she was, when I got her in May, no, yeah, when I got her at the end of May, beginning of June, roughly the same time as Harlem, she was 600 grams. This is my, my spider clown, which one of my buddies, Claire, has her sister, I believe. Uh, spider clown, possible head exantic. I got her the same time I got Harlem, within a week. This girl was 605 grams when I got her. Harlem was 54 grams. We just weighed Harlem in just over 1,000 grams. Let's see what she was. I haven't weighed her in a long time. Now, she was a terrible fucking eater when I got her. Still is a terrible eater. Has eaten here and there, though. She's 911 grams. So when I got this animal, this animal was I think five or six months older than Harlem, the clown girl I just showed you. Unless she, she skedaddled on me. She's back in there. The girl I just showed you, she's just over a thousand grams. I got them around the same time. However, when I got them together, Harlem, 54 grams, now just over a thousand. This girl was 605 grams and is now 910 grams. Good eater, bad eater. This girl, I don't even think will be ready next year to be honest with you. Okay, she'll be in her third year, three or four years old. Uh, third year, hasn't won't be ready to breed. However, Harlem probably ready to breed in about 18 months. Damn, this clown girl, this Batman girl, who the hell knows? But that's the end of this first segment about good eaters versus bad eaters. Hope that puts some things in perspective. Maybe I'll take it a step further next time. Talk about adults and their their growth rates when they, they eat like savages. Also, but in the next video I'm going to do will be part two of this. We're going to talk about how. Good eaters versus bad eaters can push your breeding plans or breeding projects, breeding seasons a year ahead of time or kind of delay them by a year or so, okay? I'm talking about my two puzzle girls, which you guys have seen. One's huge, one's not. I'm talking about the Aussie Pied Boy. We're talking about these boys, stuff like that. So we'll try and take that to the next step further. So there you guys have it. Those are my really, really good eaters and how fast they've grown and how old they are. Hope I wasn't speaking too quickly. Hope they kind of put some things in perspective here. But yeah, I'm really excited about the growth of some of these things. Really happy I found that other nasty rat. Uh, other than that, guys, that's the end of the video. See you guys on Saturday. Appreciate it. Be safe. Please remember. Oh, by the way, go check out my Instagram, blue underscore line underscore morphs. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, please be safe. Always remember, watch the six.